Hey, this is James Quans Jr. Today we're putting together a rock and roll scene using colored gels and lights here at Westcott. All right, so let's talk about this lighting setup where we were focusing on building depth using color. So we used seven strobes in this complete setup and six of them used lighting gels while one of them did not have a gel on it, or being our main light here in the Joel Grimes Beauty Dish. Behind this light for a fill, using the 43 inch silver umbrella with a blue gel to kind of fill in the shadows with a slight blue tint to complement the rest of the colors we had going on. And then behind our talent, we had two of the uh, ProLite Mods, the circular edition on the Manny Ortiz Beauty Dishes. And to complement those, to bring in even more light and create more of the stage effect, we added two more FJ400s using more flexi gels just with the reflectors. We had a purple and a pink on those to, to bring in even more types of color, building that depth, continually building that depth. And then finally, we added one more FJ400 up top with a red flexi gel to kind of combine these two lights back here, building uh, a light wall behind the ProLite mods that then kind of brought in their own light. We used the non-gelled light here for our model to keep the skin tones where we wanted them. And then we brought in blue for the shadows. So started there, working our way here for skin tones and then build layers of color behind our subject. With the ultimate goal when we started building this setup to create a stage scene that you would see at a rock and roll concert. So a couple of key things to really sell this effect were wardrobe on our subject, and that included props like a guitar, and then we also used the atmosphere aerosol smoke to kind of envelop everything and blend all these colors together to really create a neat scene that you might see at a concert. And so when you combine all those elements with the smoke, the gels, with the ProLite mods, and when the images were popping up on the computer over there, it just reinforced what we were doing and everyone on set could see the results instantly straight out of camera. And that just really helps the energy with our talent on the set. She was having a blast and I was having a complete blast capturing these images today. And a quick tip when shooting with gels is that I find it that it's always nice to have like a black backdrop where you can isolate the colors coming off of these lights and the gels within. The ProLite mods, the ones in the reflectors, it all helps to define each and every one of those colors. All right, so I hope y'all might've learned a thing or two from watching this behind the scenes video from today's shoot. If you got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those down below. If you're interested in more ProLite Mod content, you can visit my channel on YouTube, which will be linked below as well. And thanks for watching y'all, and we will see y'all in the next video. Keep rocking. <laughs>